Hi guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I wanted to do a what's in my bag. Towards the end, I will do a little mini review. So let's just get right into it. So I just ran a few errands um, and I decided to come home and just quickly record a video um, based on how my bag is right now. So I haven't cleaned it out or anything. So this is what it looks like. I have the Chanel walk. It is um, pretty packed right now. Um, but it still closes and there's no stretching. So this is what the inside looks like. So okay. So this, let's start off with this little back pocket. So in here, this bag goes all the way down here. And in here I keep, right off the top, I keep two excedrins. Um, I get headaches quite often, so I thought that would be a you know, quick place to store it. And all the way in here, I have my work badge, so when I uh, clock in in the morning, I can just quickly swipe it. So now in this pocket in here, um, cash does fit inside of it, and I sometimes keep it in there. Right now, there's nothing there. Um, there's the day code sticker. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's in here in the corner, and I've noticed it to start to peel a little bit, I and mean, I don't want to mess around with that. So if I keep something, you know, I try not to let it rub up against the corner up here. So in here, this pocket, I usually leave it unzipped. Um, let me just take out everything I have in there. I think that might be a little bit easier. <clears throat> so in that pocket, I have a credit card, um, a Chase receipt, I went to my bank, some coupons from Victoria's Secret. I have tissues, it's like probably the most important thing I have. Um, I can't go anywhere without these. And I get this little thin pack that can slide right in. And then, okay, here's a receipt from Chipotle. I just went um, to go eat there. I have a hand and stone um, membership card for massages and this is oh, the Tiffany um, receipt. I just went and got my necklace cleaned and I decided to purchase something. So that's just the receipt for it. Um, and the last two things in that pocket. I have some quarters. I have like a dollar's worth in here. Um, I don't want my bag to get dirty with the change so I just keep that little bag and this I thought was really cool my mom gifted me this for my birthday it's a I don't know if you can see that a Target um, gift card and it's got the numbers in the back um, so I thought it was pretty cool it feels like a coin it's quite heavy so I thought it was pretty neat um, in store they were sold out for a while online if you go if you're interested they do still sell these and they're selling it in the gold color not the silver all right, so that's everything that was in this pocket. In his main compartment, quite a bit still fits. I have my headphones, so I kind of bring with me everywhere. So these are the bows. Let's see that. So right here I have my iPhone, which fits in here quite well. I don't have a case on it, so it makes it easier to slide right in. And then I keep my my gym pass is in here and my house key and in the back sometimes I keep some cash here so I can just quickly take it out if I need to run to the store and then I keep I always keep this lip balm Chanel it's just the clear one I'm almost out of it I love this thing it has like a nice little shine and I always keep the current um, lipstick I'm wearing. And today is the Beso by Stila. So I keep that tucked in there. And then here are, I just keep like an envelope with a with a check and some singles. Um, usually I have my manicure pedicure and I like to um, give a tip in cash. So that's why I keep that. Um, so really quick, there's this other little pocket here, it's a third pocket, um, a 
passport fits in there very comfortably. I almost feel like that's what it was made for, so this would be a really good travel bag. I haven't had a chance to travel with it yet, but already like going, you know, when going on errands and stuff, it works really well. So let's see in here. I keep just three credit uh, three cards, my driver's license, um, my American Express, and my uh, debit card. So that's about it. That's what I keep in there. In this back pocket, I don't keep anything. If I um, have like a something that I need readily available, I'll stick in here, uh, like the parking pass or just something that I know that I'm gonna need right, you know, quickly. I'll put that in there. But normally, I don't really use that. So yeah, that's the bag. And then next, I'm going to do a review on it and what I think. Okay, so now I'm going to do a review on this bag to show you how it came packaged. So this is the box it came in. Let me just open this up. Okay, so here's the bag. So the first thing is in here is the dust bag that it came with. So I haven't I haven't really used it. Um, I pretty much wear this bag every day came with a little like Chanel um, care instructions and they gave me this to wipe the bag should I spill anything on it or you know like keep it from like getting dusty and stuff so that's that and this is the receipt I believe yes so this is just the receipt of the place I got it from and the salesperson who helped me so yeah I mean I think about a year ago I was looking at this bag to get, well it's a wall on a chain but I mean it fits enough in there, it looks almost like a bag. Um, and I didn't realize the price went up that much. So I'm like you know what, it's going to get ridiculous where I'm just not going to want to purchase it. The prices are outrageous but you know they're really nice classic bags. So anyway, um, I came with a felt stuff if I ever wanted to put it away. You know, the little flower, the ribbon. I like to keep everything, you know. Should I ever want to sell it in the future, I have everything that it came with. These are the little things that came in the slots. And this is the authenticity card, which I don't keep it with a bag. I just kind of keep it in the box to make sure I don't lose it. Okay, so a few things. <clears throat> so I do pack this quite a bit. Um, sometimes I really not have much in it. And it's still comfortable, or even when I pack it and when I have everything that I had and what's in my bag, that is quite heavy. But I don't feel it, you know, my shoulders when I have it, when I wear a crossbody. Um, so, I was definitely very careful in the beginning to use this bag. But since I got the caviar, I'm noticing I'm not being too, too careful with it. Um... You know, I've already gotten a little something spilled on it, and I was able to clean it off uh, with no issues. So I like how it's wearing. Um, it's kind of molding a little better. It's molding more to the things that I have inside. So the wear, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. There are some indentations here from the zipper which I think every bag at one point starts getting. It's kind of a difficult to not get that unless you just never use it and you always leave it open like that when you're storing it. So, yeah, I mean, here, you know, I like the versatility of this because you can do that and I'll shorten it a little bit more or you can wrap it again and you can wear it like that, the little chain up here, or you can do this to wear it like that. Um, you can choose to be very minimal about what you're wearing for like a day out, a night out. Then you can just put in there the chains. It does. It will take up a little bit of space, but you can definitely still fit quite a bit. And you can just carry it as a clutch. So I like the versatility of it. 
I'm happy with the purchase. I'm glad it was my first one. I was debating on getting the medium flap, but I'm like, I'm not quite ready for it. I would just be too worried to scratch the inside um, because it is all like lamp skin inside. So this one is got some leather in here. Here's just some, I'm not sure what material this is, but it's not leather here. This one was made in Italy. And yeah, I mean, one thing I've noticed is here, it starts to warp in a little bit as you add weight to it. But I'm not so worried about that. Um, the stitching so far, so I've had this for about um, two and a half months now. I haven't noticed any stitching coming off. It's still in really good shape. And I do like the way they look um, as they get a little bit older and with the, like, what is it, whatever, when, you, when you're using this, as you're using it, it kind of gets like your hand oils on here and it starts actually making it look a little more shiny, which I kind of, I'm excited to get to that point. So, yeah, I mean, I don't... <clears throat> So the, the cons being, it doesn't fit that much. If you like to store quite a bit and take your whole life with you when you go out all the time, then this bag wouldn't, it just, it wouldn't cut it. Like you really have to strate strategically um, put things in there. But overall, it's a really good bag. I like it. The chain is really heavy, surprisingly. And in here is just the leather. So, yeah, I mean, that's really the con would be just what fits um, in there. That you're very limited. But other than that, I haven't, you know, you make it, you make it work. You pick out for the day what you want to bring with you and you can find a way to mold everything in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry my review wasn't so thorough um, using the correct terms but in that you know that's just the review so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.